good morning morning it's our last day keith i know but those should get to see the puppers yeah get to see chef uh i don't know it feels like we've been here a long time doesn't it oh yeah I yeah guess, i guess because if you're doing the same sort of routine every morning yeah it makes it feel longer yeah i don't know well we squished a lot in a short amount of time mm-hmm um we did Keith broke his glasses and he's got my dental floss <laughs> holding it together there. Man of many talents. Uh, and uh, Playboy Centerfold is what I heard is one of them. Somebody said that's what he looked like on the couch last night. Yeah. Yep. I so, what reality they're in. <laughs> it's our last dive today. Oh, and I got an email back from the Sweat Lodge people because I wrote them yesterday and they said, <laughs> Do not try and use Google Maps to come here because you might get lost because it's wrong. <laughs> it's like, oh, we read it too late. <laughs> but that was an adventure. Uh, so anyway, it's our last uh, two dives. You get two dives. You get two tanks in like one diving excursion. So, uh, so yeah, so that's today. And then I don't know what we're doing this afternoon, but we'll figure something out. We've done everything that we've wanted to do. Yeah. You know, true, so true. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see where the day brings us. All right. I'm too busy looking to <laughs> make sure nobody's coming. I'm, I'm your sidekick. I'm your fourth, mm -hmm. your fourth pair of eyes. Your second pair of eyes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, too early. Okay. We'll see you soon. Coffee wasn't strong yeah, enough. No, never. See what I mean? See what I mean? Burn. It's funny, other people thought that it, we were ran over dogs too. Isn't mm -hmm. that funny? Okay. So we're at Starbucks. We usually come here before we go wait. Uh, take the ferry over to the mainland. I guess those are the ferries. Oh, and there's a Christmas tree. There's Keith. <laughs> He's gonna go right through it. Alright, I'll follow Keith. It's dangerous. Alright, we're just gonna go see when the ferries go over, what's going on. So since we can't start golf, Keith and I are having breakfast. Say hi, Keith. Hi, Keith. And it's right on the ocean here, but they have this because it's so windy. But yeah, it's still beautiful. And we're looking at things that we can do. I'll let you know. I got rancheros. Look at how beautiful that is. Keith got farmer's choice or something? Yeah, farmer's breakfast. Yep. Some of that and the star of the show. <laughs> that was so good. I didn't even need the ketchup, huh? Yours was good too, right? It was delicious. Yep, red. It's called Genie's. So if you come here, come here. Uh, so I forgot to tell you we did a cooking with Keith last night. Mm hmm. It turned out really good. Uh, we had. What do we have? We have... Crusted tilapia? Crusted tilapia with stuffed 
people stuff Mexican green pepper. We're back at the park again. Oh, where do we go? Uh, yeah, Keith ground up some uh, Tortilla, uh, chips. chips. Yeah, and then you know put the tilapia in egg and then rolled it in the chips and then put it in. Fried it in a pan, and uh, oh, it was nice and crunchy. Oh, it was delicious. And then we had stuffed peppers. But if it isn't Pisces, my favorite little thing. I know you're a lover, not a fighter. Uh, so yeah, so go check out. Put the link below. RV cooking with Keith because we just he's gonna upload that tonight, I think. So yeah. anyway, there you go. Okay, so I'm just checking in. Uh, Keith and I came back to the apartment. It's so nice here. And he went downstairs, that's why the door is open, uh, because the scuba place is going to drop off our stuff. Because if you don't know, I didn't know, they, you leave everything on the boat and they take care of everything and it's on the boat when you go on the next time. So that's really nice. And we'll get refunded for the day, you know, the first day that it was so windy and we couldn't go. So when the ports close, they refund you your money. And today was just kind of a makeup day from that. We weren't even supposed to be on. Uh, we were just trying to make it up today. So yeah, so we'll get refunded for the scuba we didn't get to do. So that's good. And so we just decided, cause we've already done everything that we've wanted to here and whoo, that scared the heck out of me. It's windy, as you know. Um, so we are going to, we bought some laundry detergent. We're gonna do some laundry. We're gonna get packed. We're just gonna have a casual day. Um, I did some work on a, a, a video that I have to get to somebody. And yeah, so we're just gonna do that. And Keith bought stuff for, I think, pasta tonight. And so we're just gonna kind of relax. And then I think we're gonna go up to the pool upstairs later. And yeah, just kind of ease on through the day today and just get ready to leave tomorrow. So, but I'll check in later and uh, let you know what we're up to. Okay. I also want to tell you too, I was just thinking about it. So my ears are getting better. They're a lot better than they were, but they're still a little plugged. And uh, I was telling Keith because, you know, he's saying something to me, I have to walk right up to him and I go, what, what'd you say? And, you know, my mom has hearing aids and sometimes I get frustrated because, you know, she has to say that too. And honestly, it's been so humbling and I just want to admit this and I want to say it to everybody because I want to apologize to Joy. Because, you know, sometimes it's frustrating because you don't understand until you understand. And now I understand because I hate to keep going up to Keith and going, what'd you say? Like I have to go up next to him and ask him. And so mom, I'm apologizing publicly if I ever got frustrated with you um, because it sucks to keep having to ask, what, what'd you say? And so just know when people are hard of hearing, like I said, this has been very a humbling situation for me because now I completely understand and I won't be frustrated anymore because I know how frustrating it is for me to have to keep asking. So I've learned a lot of lessons on this trip, even through scuba diving. You know, like you're kind of panicked at first because you're scared. I was scared of sharks. I mean, don't get me wrong. It wasn't like I wasn't, but believe me, when you're diving, you know, we're only in about 60 feet, 30 to 60 feet, and we're right by the wall and sharks aren't out to get you. <laughs> you're in their territory. They aren't out to attack you. They're just swimming, living their lives, because that's where they live. You know, we're the ones invading their territory. But they aren't looking to do anything. Actually, I don't know if I told you, I saw a shark. He saw it too. It was a little like reef shark. And it was just sitting in the sand. And I wasn't scared at all. And I mean, it was, well, I don't know, probably about, uh, I don't know, not far away, not too far away. But when you're down there, and again, they're just swimming <laughs> and they aren't out to get you. So, um, and I've learned if you don't panic and just relax into it and not think ahead to get yourself into that panic, it's a lot more enjoyable. 
And I think that's kind of a lesson for life too. It was like me going over the mountains. I was scared of what might happen, which never did. So I didn't get to enjoy the experience or going over bridges or stuff like that. And like I said, now I can look over bridges and I'm like, wow, look at how beautiful it is down there. So again, everything's on the other side of fear, you know? So lots of lessons learned this trip. And it's probably been the best trip that I've ever had. So there you go. Okay, I'll check in later. Keith and I came up to the pool. It's not as warm as this week. It's not as warm as we want it to be. Yeah. Oh boy. That's chilly. Okay. So this is our view during the day. Yeah, it's a little different. You didn't see it at night before. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. They saw it at night. You know me. I always say things backwards. It's funny, we called them joyisms before and it must run in the family because... Look at how much... So they're building another one of these and they really like... That wasn't... That whole front part wasn't even on. So since we've been here, they've really been moving along. I don't know what that is over there. Right out here. There's a ship way down there, if you can see. So we're not too far from the ocean. <laughs> All right, we're gonna end the vlog here because we've just been relaxing, went up to the pool, mm -hmm. and now we're having gonna have... Pasta. Pasta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he already made the sauce. It looks really good. Sorry, I'm holding this. And we're eating... I got a bag of these. Yeah, they're hot. They're hot. They're very hot. Like Keith, the the centerfold. Yeah, that's right. Remember when Burt Reynolds? This is what my hair looks like when I come out of a pool. I look like Burt and Ernie. Looks <laughs> like one of those, you know how like where they wear the thing and it has like the hair sticking out of it, the yeah. visor? Yeah, yeah. The pretend hair? Yeah. 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 All right. I'm still lucky I have mine. Yeah, right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Regardless of how bad it looks. That's true. Well, you can make it look good. Oh, I know. This it's, takes a little effort. It must be the cut. It must be whoever cut your hair last. Yeah, yeah. That's and right. that uh, dental floss really adds to the look. Oh, yeah. The healthy appeal. That yeah. <laughs> brightens your smile. All right. Go out. Make an adventure. No matter how big or how small. You have to sell everything and move into a van. Why? Because Tracy did it. I did it. I did. Mm -hmm. You can do it. You could end up in Cozumel with some stranger that you met three years ago. Mm -hmm. And have the best time of your life. Mm -hmm. And go call someone you love. And as Joy says, tell them you love them. Tell them you love them. And don't you dare forget your magic. Your magic. And and look for the good. Always look for the good. We mm -hmm. will see you in the next one. Bye. See you stateside. See ya. <laughs>